Now, Mother, I told you I left in plenty of time. Well, I'm here. My appointment was at 2. They said to show up at 2. I got I got here at 1.45. No, that's early. That's not... Mother, why do you do this to me? I don't understand why you can't let go. You need to understand that your baby boy is growing up and needs some freedom on his own. Can you please just stop? I can do this, okay? You said you're trying to help me with my self-confidence. If anything, I think you're trying to you're trying to sabotage my efforts. I, m- mother, I gotta go. I think it's time. I, I, there's a really fancy-looking lady here, and I think she wants me to get off. She's motioning for me to get off the phone. I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay. I, I don't. I don't need you to tell me to break a leg. This is not like that. Okay, I, I'm not doing that here. It's not a play. Okay. Hang up, Mother. I'm hanging up. I don't want to hang up on you, but she looks impatient. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Oh, yes, ma'am. I, I, I do apologize about that. I, I didn't mean to take a phone call right now. I, I know there was a sign. No phone calls. I do apologize. But you see, she worries about me. She worries about her little boy, and, you know, she just had a, a, a milestone birthday. Well, I don't actually know. She won't tell me how old she is. She just said it was a milestone, so it could be 70. It could be 100. I better not tell her I said that, though. She'll slap me. So, okay, uh, yes, my name is Carl, and your name is... Well, it is very nice to meet you. You look very very well ironed i will say you you are very very presentable uh you look like you didn't ride here in an el camino with no air conditioning that made your clothes wrinkle and you didn't stop by the sonic on the way here for chili cheese fries which you dropped on your pants are we going to be doing full body uh auditions or is it just am i just going to sit here or do we have to go somewhere um, because the stain, unfortunately, is in a very bad location on my pants, and it doesn't look like chili cheese. It, it looks like something else, and, and but I didn't have time to change. See, when I get nervous, I, I just, I don't know. I just, I managed to do something to make things worse. Either that or I over-accessorize, and I, I was, I put on a bracelet today. I don't know what I was thinking. I, it's warm in here. Is it warm in here to you? Because I feel a little lightheaded. Yes, ma'am. Yes, mother is always telling me I need to take deep breaths. Thing is, she always has that humidifier going, and it just makes me cough. Because I get that, that stuff down in my lungs, and it just makes me cough. And that just stresses me out more. Because then she thinks I have to gallop in consumption, and she makes me go quarantine for two weeks in the laundry room. So, okay. Yes, ma'am. Again, my name is Carl. I would dearly, ever so dearly love to shake your hand because I can tell from here that you use high dollar moisturizer on your, on yourself and uh, your hands are just so creamy looking. They look silky. Can I, may I please shake your hand? Would you like to shake my hand? We could do it either way. I could initiate the handshake. You could initiate the handshake. Sometimes it's a spontaneous handshake. Those are nice. They're rare. Oh, yes, ma'am. I understand, you know, germs and all. I, I know, I know. How about a fist bump, though? No. Well, maybe. Maybe later. Yes. Um. Well, for previous experience, no, ma'am, I do not have headshots. I apologize for that. Um, when I first heard that you need headshots, that sounded kind of violent, and I wasn't really sure what was going to be involved in this uh, this audition. And uh, but I probably should have gone to the library to look it up. Uh, Mother said that you just wanted pictures of my head. Well, I, I, if I had known that, well, I would have had Mother get the Polaroid out and take some like profile pictures and fake, you know, dead on, or I could have gone to the sheriff's department and gotten my most recent set of mug shots. Would that work? Because if so, 
I could go by there after here and ask them if they could make me some copies. The most recent set, I believe, would have been from about a month ago. Um, it's not important. It's, you know, there was a little misunderstanding about some corn dogs at the, at the pump and munch and, you know, I, I, they said I stole them. I, I, I don't, I didn't really see it that way. See, mother had a coupon and I, I, I thought I had the coupon. I was going to present the coupon, but I had to wait in this long line and it was taking forever and my stomach was growling. And I ate them while I was in line and get up there and find out it was expired. Well, I was going out to get my, yes, ma'am, I know, I'm sorry, it's not, it is not important. You are absolutely correct. But anyway, long story short, I went, to, I went to jail for a day or two. No big deal, but they took my pictures. And, uh, and I was just going to ask them, you know, do you, would you want some mug shots? Because I can do that. Um, I could have them done in these fancy, what do you call them, filters. Do like a, a nice sepia tone, maybe blur out that height thing in the back behind me and my name. I had to hold up the board with my name on it. Maybe I could cover that with some little flowers or something. Make it look special. Okay, well, if you change your mind, just let me know. Because I, I bet I could, I, maybe I could get them to give me a copy or I could go to the Walgreens and get a copy made. Just let me know. Okay, so, uh, so... Um, well, I don't really have any prior experience per se, but I did when I was five. I was in a Christmas play. Yes, I pl I played a sheep. I was a sheep. Does that count? There were no speaking parts. I mean, I was a sheep. I, what was I going to say? I mean, it, you know, I don't think it would have fit in too well. I could have said, Happy Birthday, Jesus, or something, but... They didn't have me say anything. I had to just stand there, and Mother made me this costume. It just had cotton balls all over it, and I had to just stand there and not talk. They said it was perfect for me. Uh, I, I, they said I made a really good sheep. So there's that. I mean, I might be able to get the preacher to come, the pastor to come vouch for me that I, I did a good job standing there for the play. Would that count as previous experience? Because I'm looking for anything that will work in my favor here. See, I understand that I am not your typical, you know, whatever you want to call it, like spend a lot channel host, maybe. But I do know that a lot of companies, you may not be aware of this, but a lot of high dollar companies, and I'm sure to spend a lot channel is high dollar. Well, your public access, but I mean, one day you're gonna be something. These high dollar companies, see what they're looking for is, you know, some variety. You know, see so everybody doesn't look the same. And I thought I'm perfect for that, cause I don't, I don't look like anybody on this channel. So I think you need a little bit of variety. And I am here today, as I am, to offer that to you. And I have dual collars which I have been fidgeting with since I left the house. But, because when I'm nervous, I fidget, and I eat too much, and I over-accessorize. But, I am here today to offer you some variety. So, you you have all these pretty women and these pretty handsome men, just, you know, like, they, they're they all manicured and stuff, and they, they look nice, and, you know, their voice sounds normal, and, you know, they make jokes, and... Can I what? Uh, oh no, I know what it means. I'm just trying. I'm trying to formulate a response to that. Uh, what? What does that? What does that mean? Oh, 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 improv. Oh, I do know what that is. Oh, uh, well, improv is definitely part of my repertoire. It's in my palette, you might say. Not like a wooden palette, but like a Bob Ross palette. He you know, holds it on his, on his hand, or yeah, here. It's like that. I do have that actually. And mother said that I am, I am, I can improv so good, and I'm, I, I can improv all over the place here. I, I could just improv to the point you got to mop it up off the floor. Um, there is so much improv in here that you can't even hardly contain it. Even if you had like one of those extra strength girdles, you couldn't contain all the improv. Um, 
Well, with all due respect, ma'am, I do know what the word means. I mean, I, you explained it to me, and I'm just telling you that I could improv, just I could improv your pants off. No, I don't mean that dirty. I mean, you could leave your pants on, but I would just, I would blow you away with it. So, uh, uh, I, I what? A curriculum vitae. Is that something you have to go to the urgent care for? That sounds like something you'd need some prescription medication to clear it. Oh, a resume. Oh, a resume. That's French. Uh, a resume. Well, job history. Now, job history. That I do. I do. I do know exactly what that is. Well, oh, uh, have you got a while? I, I've had many jobs. Currently, I am between jobs, which is why I was available today. And I am currently seeking a gainful employment, which is why I'm here. And I think that it is the perfect opportunity for the two of us to work out a, an arrangement, you see. So, I, I, I think... That you are looking at the new host of your of your what what's, what kind of what am I going to be doing? Like, if what kind of host would I be? Would I be showing off suits and ties, uh, sports cars, binoculars? Could I be like could I could I be like a uh, James Bond? Can we do that? Be like 007 hour? Like I could drive around in fancy cars. Only I can't do it at night because I'm account of my night blindness. I can't see after dark. Is that going to be a problem? Are the sets ever dark? Because sometimes when it's dark, my night blindness causes problems. And... Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like this all the time. Okay. Oh, well, I can see right now. So I, I would imagine if you just kept it like this, we'd be good. All right, excellent. So, uh... And I have another question for you. Are we are we supposed to wear makeup? Well, okay. Do I have to apply it? Because I will tell you, I would have been here even earlier today, but Mother told me I had to put on makeup. And I said, Mother, what kind of makeup are you talking about? She said, it's TV. You have to do differently for TV. You know what you need for TV? You need to gussy up. I said, Mother, I am gussied up. I have on the hippest, coolest outfit. I want to fit in with the young crowd. I need to look like the young people look. Yo, yo, yo. And I said, Mother, look at how I'm dressed. I don't need anything else to gussy up. She said, you look like one of the backstreet boys. I didn't think she knew who they were. I said, Mother, I do not look like them. That is so old. Nobody wants to look like them. They're probably on Medicare by now. I, I got to not look like that. She gets on my nerves. I said, I am hip and cool, Mother. I am exactly, I, 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 I just exude youth, you know. She made fun of my outfit. I told her to just go on to bingo and forget about it. She had to call and make sure I made it here. So... But anyway, she she held me down, and she got out her old makeup bag that had an inch of dust on it. She hadn't touched it since 1987. And she whips out this Max Factor pancake makeup, and she proceeds to just use a trowel and just, like, spackle my face with it. She was smoothing out the lines, according to her. She said, I have too many wrinkles around the eyes and the mouth, and she had to fix them all. I was so mad. I went in the bathroom. I had to use lava soap to get that stuff off of my face. And then it was red and irritated. And I had to put night... Uh, she has this cold cream. I put this Pond's cold cream on there. And, and it just... It just I, it was a whole deal. My skin is traumatized now. But I'm saying if, if, if I do need to actually wear makeup, I will do it. I have no problem with that. But I'm hoping that you have somebody here that knows how to do it. Because my mother does not know. All she knows is if there's a if it needs makeup, you just get out the pancake, the Max Factor pancake, and just s smear it. That's what she did, and and I'm still trying to get over it. I'm probably gonna have nightmares for the next two weeks. <sighs> okay, well I just want to let you know I have no problem with makeup. Um, do I have to do stuff to my nails or my skin? Do I need to exercise or? 
you know, I mean, cause I guess I can, but I don't know. I, I just, I, I feel that, I, I feel that I, I look, I look handsome enough as it is. And as long as I wear things that accentuate my shoulders and make them look wider, my biggest problem is I was born with narrow shoulders. I have a narrow build up here. I, she said I got it from my father. Every undesirable trait about me, she says, came from him. Like he had all the bad genes and she had all the good genes and she just, she still has all this unresolved anger towards my father. You know, he, he, he left one day, he said he was going to the library to practice his signature and he'd be back. And well, we're, we're still waiting for him to come back. Uh, that, that might have been about 30, 34 years ago. Uh, but she said, he's got narrow shoulders and he looks like a triangle. And she said, that's my problem. My build is, is quirky. She called it quirky. But so I wear, I wear my denim sleeveless top, you see, with the shirt. Cause I don't want to intimidate anyone with my chest right here. You know, I want to keep this unbuttoned keep the nice striped shirt flowing. I want to show off my colors and my style because that's important. And I wanted to let you know that I am the man for the job. So what I need to know from you, young lady, is what exactly are we doing? What are we going to be selling here together? Because I need, I need to know what I am working with. What kind of jewelry? Are we talking about man jewelry? I know a lot about man jewelry. I have I have an extensive collection of man man jewelry. You know, if you want to, do you have a particular boyfriend? I don't see a ring anywhere. I'm looking at your hands, not your crotch. It just so happens that your hands are folded and they're near the crotchal region, but I wasn't looking at that. I really wouldn't. Do you have a well, it is a personal question, but we're having a nice little intimate conversation, and I figured it would be okay. I was just going to say, you know, if you're free one evening, maybe we could uh, meet up at, at the at the In-N-Out Burger and have a, and have some a nice meal, and I could show you my man jewelry. And that's not a, euf a euphemism for anything. I literally have, like, a lot of necklaces and some bracelets and stuff, and I would love to show them to you sometime. You could try them on if you want to. I think you look nice in a few of them. He. <laughs> well, no, okay, that's true. We just met. We just met. You don't know me, and and it, it takes time. It takes time. I understand. So, uh, jewelry. Oh, oh, oh my stars! Isn't that something? Isn't that sparkly? Look at it. Are these real? Die males. What is a die male? Sounds like a fossil. Do you dig these up out of the ground? Or they're synthetic. Wow. What do they make them out of? Well, if I you see, you understand, if I gotta sell something, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So, where would the teleprompter be, though? Because, see, one of the problems with my vision. No, ma'am, I cannot take my glasses off. Ma'am, let me tell you something. If I take these off right now, you become like a, a vaguely attractive blur and, and you're like four feet away from me. I, I can't even see your crotchal region anymore. Oh, there it is. Yes. So I, I have to... Oh, no, ma'am, I, I will... No, my mother said I shouldn't wear, no, I sh well, she said I shouldn't wear contacts because they make people vain and, and they just care about their looks. And she, she forbade me from getting contacts. So if I'm going to be a host, and look, again, I'm thinking back to all the times when I watched this channel with my mother. I never saw any host wearing glasses. It would, I feel that it would bring sort of an intellectual angle to your channel. You know, because when people see a host with glasses on, I think that makes them look smart and trustworthy. And I think you could use a little bit of that. Not that I'm trying to tell you how to do things, but, you know, if you had a good, have, a, have a handsome young man with glasses on, I think it would it'd lend a, an air of a... 
I don't know, in, 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 in intellectuality to your program. So, okay, so you're saying I'm going to have a, a, a teleprompter over here. Over here, okay. How far away? Can you kind of show me what you mean by that? Yeah. It's about right, okay, right where that spot on the floor, that blue, okay, so there. So I'd be looking at a, at a teleprompter over there, and it's going to tell me what to say. Oh, that's, oh, that's where the improv comes in. So it gives me the basics, the basic facts of the product, and then I have to ad lib from there. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I would love to. I would love to try it out. It, does this mean we're moving to phase two of the audition? Have I made it? Have I made it past phase one? Is this like American Idol? Did I get the little yellow paper? Do I get to jump up and down and hug someone? Because if so, I'd really love to give you a hug right now. Oh. Oh well. If you, okay. Yeah. I understand. You do that with everybody. Okay. Yeah. So what is it called? A screen test. Screen test. Like in a screen door? I mean, what are we doing? What what are we testing? Is there something wrong? Is there something wrong somewhere? You're testing me? Oh, I get nervous when I take tests. Maybe we better not. Maybe this whole thing was a mistake. Oh, oh, uh, okay. So what's he doing? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not nervous at all. I'm... I'm fine. Kind of wish I hadn't had chili cheese fries, but I'm okay. Don't eat chili cheese fries before you do this. That's my advice for today. Don't do it. So, these are colorful. So, do I hold them up like this, or? Okay, well, once he gets it into place, let let me look at it. Okay. I, I see. Oh, that's a big screen, isn't it? Isn't that a big screen? Okay, those words are gigantic. Well, for most people, it might work where they don't have to look directly at it. They can read it in their peripheral vision, but unfortunately, I don't really have any peripheral vision. See, ma'am, I, I got kicked in the head by a mule when I was a toddler, and I don't have that. I don't see anything over there too well. Don't tell the DMV. I kind of kept that to myself. <laughs> I'm a totally safe driver. I would never, I would never hurt anybody on purpose. As long as they're right in front of me, we're fine. Okay, so I'm supposed to read off stuff. Oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. So, um, all right. Oh, oh, of course, of course. I, I'm, I'm ready anytime. I'm standing, I'm sitting up straight. Mother told me to sit up straight. She said, Carl, don't you slouch. Don't you slouch. It's a slouchy slouch. It makes you lazy. She's always worried about me being lazy. She's afraid somebody's going to think I'm lazy. I'm anything but lazy. I am constantly looking for a job. Okay, so do I hold them like this? Or is there a thing I put them on? Or how does this go? Oh, well, if I get to choose, I believe I'm going to put these down. And I'm going to start with these two. Is that okay? Alright. So this is just a for instance. We're not on TV, are we? Are we on TV? Because oh, you're just recording it for later. Okay. 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 That makes sense. So uh, who's going to be watching this? I heard a rumor. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard a rumor. My neighbor's cousin told me that Bob Hope secretly runs this channel that from beyond the grave that y'all do a seance and, and he speaks to y'all from beyond the grave and, and makes executive decisions. Is that true? Is that true? Well, I didn't think it sounded ridiculous. I thought it made... Well, okay, maybe it does sound a little bit ridiculous, but I just thought I'd ask. I want to clear that up. I don't have a problem with Bob Hope. I mean, if he were alive, I don't even know. He'd be hideously old by now. 
But if he can communicate from beyond the grave, I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. But you're saying it's not true. You look like you winked a little bit when you said that. Was that, or are you trying to tell, oh, okay, nice. It looked like you winked a little bit with that eye right there. Okay, okay, I'm just checking, okay. So, all right, now, just tell me, tell me when I gotta start. Okay. Well, ma'am, I, I can't exactly read the teleprompter and look at the camera at the same time because, like I said, I don't really have any peripheral vision. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll just... Is there any way we could move the teleprompter over a little bit? Does it have to stay on that blue dot? Oh. Uh, well, I, I guess you understand the setup better than I do. Okay, well... That's probably a good idea. We just won't worry about it. Okay. The little red dot came on. Does that mean we started? Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to look over here now, okay? I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you because I would never ignore a beautiful lady like yourself for anything, even an audition for a cushy job. I, uh, oh, yes. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll stop now. <clears throat> okay. Do I just say anything about these, or do I have do I have to address? Am I talking directly to the viewer, or okay, all right? Well, yes, ma'am. I have seen your program. I will just try to do it the way they do it. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so we have today, ladies and gentlemen, we have beautiful bracelets in gold gold tone okay oh it's not real gold okay i can't call it gold so we have gold tone in here with genuine sparkling are these diamonds too these are genuine sparkling diamonds and you see how stretchy it is that means that no matter how big of a thing you want to put this around you can stretch it to fit i mean when, when I was little, I went to the circus one time and I saw somebody trying to pick up the foot of an elephant. And I bet even if you had an elephant, you might... Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I Well, I was trying to ad lib a little bit. I do a little bit of something. Oh, oh, did I go too far? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me stick to the subject. Okay. I'm gesturing. You can see that I, I gesture... I gesture like a champ. Look at here. We have these pretty pretty bracelets and they're springy. Look at them. This has a silver. What do you call it? Silver side. This is beautiful silver side with opalescent opalescent diamonds. Now they are basically the same size and you can see how they are multifaceted and they are luminous and they are forever beautiful on your arm or the arm of the one you love because personally i will tell you that if i had a young lady for my own i would buy her one for four easy installments of four dollars and 95 cents made payable by check or money order sent here to the station yes allow four to six weeks to arrive and no CODs please so we have these beautiful items we also have a lovely red with gold tone rubilescent diamonds and if you feel extra flashy you can get this one right here that has these yellowish looking diamonds and I can gesture and we can wear them all together. Although they don't really go together. Did you know that I don't mean to step on anybody's toes. But these bracelets here don't really match. These two are alright I reckon. But you add this red and this yellow. And it's just too much. There's just too much going on. I don't feel like I should show them everything. And then you bring in a green. Big old clear one here. Who's going to wear all that? There's just one lady that goes to bingo with mother, and she smokes all the time, and 
She smokes those clothes, cigarettes, and she always has on a lot of lipstick, and she loves to pinch my cheek for some reason. Now, she'd wear all these. She has a mole right here. She's always got a hair growing out of it. I don't like her. I consider myself a pretty chipper person, but I don't like her. Sorry, sorry. Uh, do I need to keep showing these? Okay. Because I, I think I've said about all I can say about those. Okay, I have a quick question for you before we move on. Um, I'm having a lip issue. The doctor hadn't quite figured out what it is yet. Uh, it may be a fungus. It, 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 we don't really know. It could be some uh, new thing. And, and I have to keep putting Blistex on my mouth. Um, is that going to be a problem? I mean, if I have to stop in the middle of a presentation, I could keep on ad-libbing while I do it. Would that be all right? It's medicated lip ointment. So it's got a medication in it. So I think by law, you're not allowed to have a problem with it. Well, no, no doctor told me to do it. But uh, I need it. Because when I put it on, I feel my lips feel better. You know, is that okay? Or well, I'll try, but I can't. I can't make any promises. You know, I, I personally, I think if you if you think about it, this is the perfect arrangement. So I don't think making allowances for a little thing like this is a big deal. Okay, so oh, we're still running. All right. Well, then, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Then we are going to move on to the next items. On display we have some beautiful other other beautiful jewelry items we have this lovely necklace here it is made of genuine authentic pink thracite and it has discs of pink thracite and silver side you will note that we have up here an enormous lobster claw clasp what do you mean? What was wrong with the way I said it? Why do they like to hear that? Lobster claw clasp. There's nothing special about that. Can I what? I don't know that I can say it any differently. Okay, well, let me try up here. We have, a, can I call it enormous or is that too phallic or is that going to offend anybody or... We have an, a large, a large, easy to manage lobster claw clasp. I sound like my mother when I say that. Lobster claw clasp. How about we just don't say it? Because now I feel weird saying it. We have at least three and a half inches of adjustable chain. Hanging down from that adjustable chain is a genuine die mail in authentic plastic just there. And no extra charge. This necklace is going to look so beautiful. It is going to grace your neck. It is very youth making. And everyone will compliment you. And if you wore this, I would totally ask you out on a date. Because it is very pretty. And look at it. It's shiny. Um, I'm having a hard time thinking of other words to describe this stuff. Let me try one of these other ones over here. Now... If pink is not your color, ladies and gentlemen, I do have, well shoot, this one's got pink in it too, dadgummit. Excuse me, sorry, I don't mean to use foul language in front of you, but we have a multi-stranded, stranded, a multi-strand necklace. This is made to look vintage, but it is not, not technically. We found them in a warehouse we're not exactly sure how old they are. They had a lot of dust on them. They look like that end scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark. It was in a building like that. So it could be really old. We don't know. This is perfect for fall because it has brown in it. And nobody wears brown in the summer. Because I don't know why is that. Why do people wear brown in the fall? What's wrong with wearing brown in the summer? I feel like my mother would faint if I said that. We have brown and green and some more pink, but it's not the same pink. Cause see, if you look at it, this one has pink like Pepto-Bismol, and this one, 
Well, that's just pink like a Barbie doll case that's been left in the sun for too long. So it's not quite the same. Now, this necklace is good for people whose fingers don't work well because it has a shepherd's hook clasp on it here. So you don't have to mess with that lobster claw clasp. You just hook it wherever you want it on this adjustable chain made of these little authentic plastic pearls. And it would look pretty to wear to the opera or the yard sale circuit, either which. You could wear it anywhere and look charming and beautiful and firm and young and springy and I don't know. Ready, ready for anything. And then we have a new a new feature. We have, how am I doing? Am I doing okay? Because I don't feel like I'm doing too well. Okay, yes ma'am. I, I will wrap it up. We have a beautiful bunch of rings here. Not literally. It's a necklace with no clasp. Now I will tell you ladies and gentlemen, if your hair is really big or your head is exceptionally large, it will not it will not actually fit as you can see from my hat. If I were to try to put it on while I have on my hat, it will not fit. That makes me sad because I kind of like this necklace. Isn't it beautiful? Look at it. This necklace features dark gray metal dripping with genuine authentic plastic diamonds mined from the deserts around Las Vegas. Look at them. They're beautiful. It looks like they have little washers on the ends of them for no reason. But there is no clasp whatsoever, which is kind of a stupid design. I probably shouldn't use the word stupid when I describe our merchandise, should I? That didn't come out too well. Can you edit that out? Are you, are you able to edit this at all? Well, I think it'd be great if, if you would edit it and not show them everything I've said because some of it might be misconstrued and taken the wrong way. What if I... Um, what if I offer to slip you some Arby's coupons? Would you change your mind then? Because I got some good ones out in the car. You come out of the El Camino with me. I even have some Subway buy one, get one free coupons. Think about that. Think about that. Okay. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. We're still going. And then finally, yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you, you lovely shoppers, I have for you this sparkling what is this made of seashells really oh I like this how much is this oh I like this one I want this uh, uh, do, do, do you take third party out of state checks how about green stamps oh I want one of these do you do lay away here because if you do lay away I well, and we'll have to review my options. I sure do like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have another three-strand necklace. This one is a bit longer and does have a large silver lobster claw clasp and has an adjustable chain that swings freely and it only has one ball. Poor thing. And uh, it's made of these dyed, shiny bits of seashell. Is that not the prettiest thing you saw today? Boy, I like it. Except for you. You are the prettiest thing I saw today. You are just fresh pressed and de-stressed. I am loving the view from here. Mm. I like that pair of pantyhose too. It looks good. No offense. Ah, so I forgot what I was saying. So ladies and gentlemen, you really need to consider this delightful necklace. Look at this. It would look so pretty with all your summer outfits and everyone would compliment you everywhere you go and I think this is the best item we've ever had. So, should I? Oh, okay. <clears throat> and how much is it? Okay. You can have this today for the low, low price of $9.97, available in four easy pay installments. This can be yours. And it comes, it comes with a free gift box. 
it comes with a free gift box. So, you see, if I knew of a lady, and I thought she was very beautiful, I could, uh, and, and you could too, you could get this here, and put it in the gift box, and present it, and say, I would love to give you this, because I think you are just as beautiful as it is. Yes. And see, then she would fall in love with you, and then you could be together, and then she could solve all your problems for you, and take over making your sandwiches, and doing your laundry, and yeah. So that's, that's what we're all looking for. We're looking for that. I know I am. And one day I'm going to find it, hopefully soon, because Mother has developed this cough, and I'm starting to think she may not be around forever, you know. She said she reached that milestone birthday, and, you know, now she's got a, a nagging cough, and I'm just wondering, well, who's going to cut the crust off my sandwiches? Who's going to know how to make them? Get the right mayonnaise and whatnot. Who's going to take care of me? And I think about these things, and that's why I start hunting for things that a woman might like. You know, you got to have some good bait to throw out there to bring in a good one, you know. One that you can love and train up right. And yeah. So, now don't forget the phone number. What's the phone number? I forgot. Okay. What is it? 1-800. 1-800-SPEND, that doesn't have the right number of letters in it. 1-800-SPEND-A-LOT. 1-800-SPEND-A-SPEND. I'm counting the letters. S-P-N. That's too many letters. I don't think that's an actual phone number. I mean, you don't want to give that out if it's not correct. How are they going to know how to call? Do I have to give them, is there a website or? Oh, just a number, okay. So call 1-800-SPEND-A-LOT. Kick them nasty thoughts. Sorry, you too young know what the <laughs> what that came from. Ah, okay, well, um did you need me to show anything else or do you need me to turn to the sides and look back like this? Like you could take a steel frame, you could take a steel shot. We could do like glamour shots, I could do my collar like that, you know, and you could do a steel shot. You have to do the shoulder, and you got to do the head just right. Get that, they get that sultry pout, you know. So you could use that as a steel frame for my head shot. But I can still get those. I can still get those mug shots. You say the word, and they're yours. I'll be at Walgreens this afternoon getting them done up. We could do a sepia tone, black and white. You know, maybe I could add in some stickers on it. Anything to make it special. Get some of those little gold stars, put it on there. And little gold full stars. I think that's the old deal. That's a, that's a clincher right there. Okay, yes, man. I, I do understand. You got other people coming in to audition. I, just, I, I know you got to go through with the formalities. Make them think they got a chance. It's fine. I, I, I understand how the game's played. So, uh, anyway... I'm going to leave my phone number with you. Uh, do you want me to write it down somewhere? I'll tell you what would be better. You give me your phone number, and I will go ahead and put it into my phone. That way, I can call you, and maybe we could talk about other stuff, like we could talk about maybe going to Arby's or Subway or no. Where do you eat? You look like you don't eat a whole lot. I mean, I could probably take you to a more expensive place. It's not like you're going to order something expensive. Um, you look like to kind of just eat a salad and have some water. That's not too much. Basically, you just have an appetizer. I could swing that. So, uh... Oh, oh no. Well, okay. Well, okay, as well, are you going to write it down or... Well, you might want to write it down. I mean, you might forget, you know, because you don't have anything else other than that video. How about I just say it in the video? How about I say it in my little test? Oh, they already stopped. The, well, the little red light went off. I assumed it stopped. Okay, well, okay, but I'm afraid you're not going to remember. Not that, I say, not that I'm saying you have a bad memory. I just like it better if you wrote Okay. Yeah. That post-it note will work. Uh, I don't have a pen 
Um, I can cut myself and give you some blood if you want. No, oh, that'll work. Yeah, the eyebrow pencil. Okay, five five five, two eight two eight. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. I. It's been an honor, I have to say. It has been a real pleasure, and I look forward to working with you. Would I be working with you? or? Oh, really? Oh, so? Okay. So we will be working together closely here on set. Oh, that would be all right then, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Again, may I kiss your hand as a thank you? Oh, well maybe after we've been working together for a little while okay well you go do the other auditions and uh, i will be hearing from you again real soon i'm sure